What's up guys, it's Beefcake here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this combination lock. Um, so basically you can set it to whatever combination you want, but you hit your four buttons, and it'll eventually open the door, and you can get in. Um, so, what you're going to need is uh, nine buttons whatever block you want to make out of this uh... of course you can't use chiseled cobblestone because it's only in creative right now um, if you wanted to build this in survival it uh... would take a lot of redstone but it's really cool um, so yeah let's get started um, first you're gonna make a five by five block and then you're going to fill that with if you want to fill it with wool you can you can make it like mine is and you can just put your buttons there for now now you are going to find out which combination lock or what combination you want and so for example I'm going to use that one over there the same one so that'll be this button so we'll have to have that there. Also, the last one is right here. Uh, this is the second one. And this is the third. But I'm gonna leave that for later because I have to do this one. So, your last button is going to have two repeaters. And you're gonna set those all the way. Your third button will have I think four yeah four repeaters and set those uh, to the fourth tick or third or whatever it is um, and then the first button you're going to have twelve so one two three four five six seven eight nine what was that nine ten eleven well I think it's eleven and then over here it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're gonna set these all the way. Also for the first button, set all eleven of them to the max. Um Okay. So now that you have that you're going to want to take this redstone uh, this one should go the farthest out actually the top one should and then that should go out to there this can be about there and I'm not really going for compact or anything. <laughs> this is just showing you how to do it. If you want to, you can make it a lot more compact than I am right now. Um, and then this could go like right here. So you could have this redstone come down and out. And then you're going to have this one come down and out and you're going to connect them all once they are all out uh, so we'll do that let me just bring this all the way and you see this is really important you cannot have these together so you will have to break these apart by just putting a block there so that they won't connect. Also, you will have to do that for this part as well. Um, that should be enough. So then, you're going to bring this redstone dust all the way out to here. Um, oh, I messed up. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it out 
longer than everything. Um, so that means this has to be longer. And there you go. So you set it up just like this. And now we're going to make a uh, inverter. So you're going to place a block here, a redstone torch here, and redstone because you want the door closed all the time, not open, and then close it when you do the lock. You want it open so that when you do the lock, it'll open up. So, <laughs> um, so now you're going to take uh, redstone repeaters and you're going to line them up just like this. Uh, it doesn't really matter how much you do it. I usually make it go pretty, pretty good size. And you're going to put all these to the last tick. So, sorry, I apologize for you guys having to watch this, but it must be done. Um... Okay, almost there. Now you're going to put redstone dust going from here, and you can just leave it right there. No, nope, you can't have it connecting or else it'll mess it up. So you're going to have these c connected to all of these ones. And now you can bring this to your door of whatever. Um, okay, so you might have to place a repeater to, to get it there. Okay. It's just the door will be right here. I'm not gonna bother really. That'll work. <laughs> um, trying to do this pretty quick for you. You're probably getting bored watching this. Um, so you're gonna place two pistons up like this. You're gonna place whatever block you're using in front. You're gonna place whatever block you're using behind the pistons and now you can run this up your thing and you can take it from like right here you will probably have to use a repeater um, and that gets me there okay so then you can just finish this off. I think this is a little overkill for trying to get your friends not to steal your diamonds, but if you want to do it, you can. <laughs> um, it's just a little kind of fun thing you can do with redstone. And, um, so that should be it. Uh, so we will test it right now so you press all your buttons pretty quickly you go over to your door should open but it didn't what's wrong alright so press the oh I missed dang it okay That should turn that off. So that should... Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so some of these are too long to make it there. So, just set a repeater there.
just some, wherever it's not making it. And I can't really check this bottom one. But I, I'm assuming it's too long. So I'll put one there, and then I'll replace these blocks. Okay, there we go. That should work now. So, whoops. Okay, wait for that to turn off. Okay. So go there. And it opens. Um, you can mess around with this to make it not such a fast open and close so that you have more time to run through the door. But um, I won't do that for you guys because it's kind of complicated and I'm sure there's a lot of videos explaining stuff like that. So there you go guys, uh, you have your combination lock to a secret chest or whatever that you want. And it's pretty easy. Um, I also will be doing another video on uh, how to make a escape system so you can get out. <laughs> So this is more like a trap right now, like you get in and you're stuck. But there will I'll add a button to it next video and you it'll open these doors and you'll be able to get out. So there is the combination lock in Minecraft, um, Xbox three sixty edition, and I'll see you later.